Mm. Yes, people. Yes, people. Evening, evening, and welcome to Lippy's living room. I hope you're inside your yard, car. It's illegal to be outside. It's lockdown for the 14th month in a row. It's getting long now, Boris. Let us outside. You understand? The the you them are selling fake fake vaccination certificates it's gone too far just let us out and just make the virus just do what it does but now nah, serious lockdown man the changes no gym no raving it, it's it's been crazy it's been mad but my lockdown in the beginning of it i'm not even gonna lie man it, it, it was all right it was eventful i don't know if you lot remember but summer 2020 um everyone said fuck it <laughs> fuck the lockdown rules all the all the estates in the hood started doing block parties went to one police tried to seal it off couldn't seal it off for you know what let's do our own one my side's done our own little block party it was all good everything was fine you understand but obviously summer only lasts for so long and it got colder so we kind of thought what are we gonna do winter lockdown autumn lockdown what what the fuck are we gonna do but you see when you live the life of Lippy, you have little strokes of luck, yeah? So the story I'm about to tell you today is about how, long story short, we got a yard in it. And if you're from the hood, that might sound, if you're not from the ends, you might, what kind of sentence is that? We got a yard. When you're from the hood, we just obtain things sometimes, illegally, but this was not illegal. You understand? We just pulled a couple strings, got a little accommodation. Long story short, lovely girl I know, she was a nanny. Um, for this lady, long story short, lady was nasty, couldn't look after her picnic them, they were like eight and nine, still wearing nappies and that. Social services come for them, she ran away, yard was still there, rent paid up to March 21. So we said, you know what, let's get in there, man. Let's get in there. Had a little um, something in there um, mid-December to see, can we do something illegal in here for New Year's? You understand? It went well. See a couple police drive past of them thing there, but there was no knocks on the door. We thought, cool. Done the thing, New Year's itself. Couple man thought, you know what? It's all right, but this is the mistake that us as people then from the hood always make. We get away with something once, we get away with something twice and we just think, yeah, it's legal, we could do it. Some people take risks more than others. I don't know if you watch Lippy's Living Room, but that's a common theme. I don't take risks, you understand? I might do a little something here, there, everywhere, but I don't take risks. This was new, this was new for me. Being in this yard in, in tier nine lockdown was like being in deep water and I can't swim. You understand? But I thought, you know what? Let's do this. One of my older brethren's is there. He's eyeing up the yard. He's rubbing his hands together. He's saying, you know what, Lippy? We could do something in here, you know? And I'm saying, no, we can't. We're doing something in here. This is enough. You understand? But some people, you give, they see an inch. We see an inch. They see a mile. You understand? So it was one of them situations. So long story short, um, we had a little gathering for one of my friends that passed away. We had a nine night. If you don't know what a nine night is, it's a li little ceremony we hold as Jamaican people nine days after someone passes away. You understand? So my big homies called me about the day before the date of this thing so we're saying yeah i need to get the yard ready but a nine night is it's just old people there sipping wine and some of them are smoking weed and whining against the wall like it's nothing big i'm thinking what do you need to prepare for this thing he's saying nah i just got a couple pieces i need to bring in pots and pans and you understand so i said cool we let him do it i've met him at the yard later on i'm seeing big speakers like the size of me coming into the yard i'm saying big man it's tier nine you know we we can't do this he's saying nah don't worry it's all right bim bam couple people rare they're bringing in ludo board monopoly board chess board checkers ps5 ps2 nintendo barbecue everything so i'm thinking there's no way this could be 10 or 11 people in the gathering he's saying don't worry it's all right me like a idiot i didn't worry listen i've come there the night of this nine night it wasn't no nine night it was a 99 night there was so many people and this, the area that this yard in, yard was in, is no black people around there, you know. So already us pulling up, nickel five man smoking outside or whatever, it's already a mad thing. So the fact that there's like 56 people in the yard in dress shoe and that, it's crazy. But apparently man are trying to say, rah, we're allowed 30 people for a week. It was about three times 30 people. We said, fuck it, we're in there. So you're probably thinking, what, what, where does this story become exciting? Listen now, about 45 minutes into the party, I'm just seeing blue lights licking against the wall. Blue lights, blue lights, yeah? And that's another thing. We all had a plan. We swore to God, if 
push the police turned up we we're gonna you see all them videos of man refusing to to shut down their barbershop and that because of the the, 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 the the macadamian law or whatever from K K king henry the eighth times and you can't enforce certain laws we said yeah we're not having it the police them they can't shut down our thing fight the power power to the people we're not having it listen as soon as blue lights came through that window everybody started scattering and like i said i do not take risks i didn't know what to do i'm seeing people jumping out the window it got to the extent where i forgot i forgot what we was panicking for i was thinking what there must be a, a greater reason for why we're panicking you understand man are jumping out the window i'm seeing man long story short i just hid in the cupboard didn't it i hid in the cupboard and you know when you get that feeling when you're scared and that you need to shit and my heart was just in my ass, like, and I'm hearing feds running around, radio, and I'm in the cupboard with a girl. I don't even know the girl, sorry miss, cause she went through it. You understand, I was on top of her, it was, it was small. It, there, weren't, there weren't even enough room for one of us, but man, I weren't getting nicked. But long story short, you know when you kind of just get into, like, man them can relate, please, I'm not the only either. You know when you just know you're gonna get nicked, but it's like, fuck getting nicked by myself, bro. I need to find the man them, like, I need to, where we did, we broke the law together, bro. Let's all, let's go out as a team. So I've literally bust out the cupboard like I'm, like it's a mad thing, ran past bare feds and just stopped at my friends and just stood there like, yeah, I'm with them, man, take us all, we're all, you get me? I call that dry snitching, running snitching, I don't know what it was in it, but man, I had to get with my pack. Long story short, questioning us, asking whose plate is this, whose fork, whose PS5, no one's trying to say anything. Long story short, yeah, I had something expensive there, innit? And they asked whose it is, everyone's trying to deny it. So I had to say, yo, it's mine. Officer's saying, come in the next room. I'm saying, for what? You're saying, come, I need to speak to you. They sat me down. They're saying, listen, sir, we believe you're the organiser of this event we're gonna issue a 10,000 pound fine. And obviously, as you know, in the hood, it's a no snitching policy, isn't it? But in that moment, <laughs> in that moment, listen, spilt the beans, I almost spilt the beans, the toast, gave him the breakfast. But listen, I, I remain strong. When I say remain strong, I just complain so much. And luckily they believe it weren't my yard because it's a six bedroom yard and can't be my yard. The moral of this story is people, it's a, it's a new way of life now. It's a new world order. It's a lot of things that we're not allowed to do. You understand? I'm not here to tell you not to do them. Fuck that, fuck Boris and all them people there. I'm just saying don't get catch. Cut 10 grand. I didn't get a 10 grand fine, I got a 200 pound fine. And they ain't sent it to me yet. And I'm grateful. And if they don't, they could just keep up with that lack of communication. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be even more grateful. But people, lockdown 2021, probably here to stay. At least the living room's back. Please stay safe. Don't get corona. Sanitize your blood clot. And yeah. <laughs>